woman after marriage becomes a wife. For nine long months she carries a new life. Islam legislates equality. My sisters and brothers, don't forget paradise lies at the feet of your mother. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to our episode, The Art of Divorce. It's a series of episodes in which we are clarifying how we as Muslims go about having a divorce in the correct way. And from previous episodes, we've learned that actually, if we really know the art of divorce, it's really staying away from divorce. And the person who has been helping us to understand this is no other than Sheikh Haytham Al Haddad who is a member of the Islamic Sharia Council of the UK and also the director of the Muslim Research and Development Foundation. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Wa alaikum salam. And it's good to have you again. Jazakallah khair. Okay, in the last episode, we discussed about the three acts or the three stages the man uh, takes part in, in terms of just before divorce happens. And you mentioned that he, he uh, advises his wife, then he stays away from her, and then he, um, as we said, smacks her. Smacks her, yeah. right? And it's not as we understand the word smack in the West. Yeah. Okay. What happens after this? Okay. So that is the first stage. We said mainly we have three stages before divorce, during divorce and after divorce. Mm -hmm. Now, before divorce, we have these three steps. Mm -hmm. Also, there is another step. Allah Jalla wa'ala mentioned, وَاللَّاتِ تَخَافُونَ نُشُوزَهُنَّ Sorry, Allah Jalla wa'ala mentioned, فَإِنْ خِفْتُمْ شِقَاقَ بَيْنِهِمَا فَبْعَثُوا حَكَمًا مِنْ أَهْلِهِ وَحَكَمًا مِنْ أَهْلِهَا إِنْ يُرِيدَا إِصْلَاحًا يُوَفِّقِ اللَّهُ بَيْنَهُمَا If you, who are you, either the families or the judge, if you feel that they might have a dispute or the dispute will go further to cause شِقَاقَ بَيْنِهِمَا means complete separation. So just before that, send a حَكَم a hakam means a person who is part of the family of the wife and another person who is part of the family of the husband. Yes. And both of those people will act as, an arbitra as arbitrators. They will look at the situation, they will hear both of their views and then they will conclude something. They will write their report to the judge. Okay. So, for example, if they report that this marriage is not going to work, then they will report it to the judge and the judge can act accordingly. Or they might say that, well, there is a problem and you can overcome this problem. Mm -hmm. Now, look at the wisdom of Sharia. Allah Jalla wa'ala said, حَكَمًا مِنْ أَهْلِي وَحَكَمًا مِنْ أَهْلِيَا A person uh, from the wife's family, not only from the wife's family, another person, not independent, but from the family of the husband to make sure that justice is maintained. Not only that, but the views of both parties are there. And not just take a person from outside the family because we don't want everyone to know about the family. And this, as some scholars said, this is a final stage, which means that the Spouses, the husband and wife, should try in the beginning to keep their problems among themselves. Yes. If they find that it is impossible to keep it among themselves and uh, they might think uh, that their life is not going uh, anywhere, then the issue of sending the hakamain or arbitrators. Then if the hakamain, the arbitrators, and again, I'm sure many people have spoken about this because this involves how to, uh, or involved in how to maintain a successful marriage. Yes. But briefly, if the two arbitrators decided that this marriage is not going anywhere, and it is better for both sides to end up this marriage, then they can uh, write their, this report to the uh, qadi, to the judge, and the judge will decide accordingly. Okay. Now, this procedure all of these steps that we have mentioned should take place before divorce. And again, as we said, that is not the main subject of our 
uh, series. Yes, yes. The main subject is uh, during the divorce. Mm -hmm. Let us discuss it uh, during the divorce. And, and so the, just before I, 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 I go into BB, you go into that, I just want to clarify something. So it's after that arbitration of the, the two relatives from both sides is only then a person can say, okay, then no, the not necessarily. Place? Not necessarily. Okay. But this is one of the highly recommended steps. Mm -hmm. By the way, in the UK, for example, I don't know about many other Western countries, mm -hmm. but in the UK recently, the law said that the two spouses, before getting into the procedure of divorce, they have to sit with someone who is doing uh, counseling for them. And they have to submit this officially. Now, it is not so binding, but the judge normally sends them to uh, counseling. Counseling, yes. Yeah, or for counseling. So this is like counseling, the mm -hmm. two arbitrations, like counseling. Now, see here, even before d discussing the uh, stage during divorce itself, this means that divorce itself is the last resort. We should not jump into it immediately. Mm -hmm. We mentioned the ayah of Surah Al-Baqarah, three steps. Mm -hmm. Okay, three steps. So don't think of divorce immediately. And this is uh, what they, they call a thumb rule. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. or a rule of thumb. Yes. Okay, we don't want to use this expression. But please, brothers and sisters, in particular brothers, husbands, Divorce is the last resort. Try hard before that. Sisters, let me whisper in your eyes. I know your husbands are listening. Mm -hmm. Believe me, you will suffer a lot from divorce. We say that it is not the end of the life, but you will suffer. In fact, what we have seen is women suffering from divorce more than men. The man can go easily. And the, the man can go and get married to another wife easily. But it is not the case with a sister. And wallahi, sister, I swear by Allah that many sisters, divorcees, they had children. And after some time, I asked them a question. Do you regret that you have been divorced? Mm -hmm. And in many cases, they say yes. We regret. And if it is, <laughs> if we can... Uh, what turn, back time. turn back turn back the time we wouldn't uh, accept to be divorced we would work maybe hard in order to avoid divorce Subhanallah. Subhanallah. so sisters I know and by the way this is always we hear oh no my situation is different my situation is a unique situation I'm not like them mm -hmm. everyone has his own situation we always hear this story but please th think of the consequences of divorce. Now, see, the, this sending the arbitration means divorce should be the last resort. And this is one of the skills that we need to know about divorce. And this is one of the steps that we need to be aware of before taking mm -hmm. uh, the actual divorce into place. Now... Then let us go to the first step okay. of okay. divorce. So the, 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 the prerequisites actual, are four steps. Yes. Yes. Okay. And now let us describe the actual step or mm -hmm. the steps of divorce. Okay. First of all, the sunnah of divorce is not to divorce your wife while she is in her cycle or in her free period, provided that you had a sexual, a full sexual relationship with her. So the sunnah divorce is to divorce her in her free period when she is pure mm -hmm. after the period with no sexual relationship taking place uh, after the period. Okay. If that is the case, then you can divorce her, which is considered to be the sunnah talaq by the consensus of all scholars. Okay. If you divorce her, during her cycle or in her purity after a relationship, then that is the bid'ah divorce. Mm -hmm. Ibn Umar, he divorced his wife and Umar ibn al-Khattab, his father, asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 
and the hadith is well known in Sahih al-Bukhari in the Sahihain, okay, hadith ibn Abbas, and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to Umar, murhu fal yuraji'ha, command your son ibn Umar to reconcile or to take her back yes. and wait for her until she had her period and she becomes clean from the period, then if he wants to divorce her, then he should divorce her. If he w- doesn't want, then he will take her, uh, then he will stay with her. Mm-hmm. Now, the bid'a divorce, mm-hmm. okay, divorcing during the period or after a sexual relation, after what we don't mean immediately after, mm-hmm. but we mean that during the purity period, a sexual relationship took place between the husband and wife. Yes. That bid'a divorce, some scholars said it is a sin. Yeah, means the husband, if he does it, he is sinful. And we don't want, because it is not a fiqh discussion, we don't want to get into the validity of a bid'a divorce and the invalidity of that bid'a divorce, but that is the first step. Okay. So the husband yes, divorces sure. his wife, okay, one time after uh, she becomes pure and there should be no sexual relationship during that time. Okay, so, so just to clarify it for, for the viewers as well. So he can't divorce her during the, the menaces period, nor during a period of, without the menaces, the pure period of, as we call it, without, if he has a sexual relationship, he can't as well. This is called the bid'a divorce. Exactly, he can't. He can only divorce her after the period, which is in her purity period, in which he does, he, they don't have a sexual relation. Exactly. Okay, yeah. good. Then the second point about the sunnah, talaq, mm-hmm is to divorce her one time. Okay. Not to divorce her two times together or three times together. Just one time. And no need to repeat that word. I know, and which we mentioned in one of the episodes, the previous episodes, mm-hmm. that many people would like to stress on it. You are divorced. You are divorced. You are divorced. Don't do it. Please, don't do it. Okay? Say you are divorced. That is more than enough. Okay, then we are just going through the procedure briefly. Yeah, then the second step is that now she is divorced. She, uh, and that is the first divorce. This is called uh, the first divorce and she has to wait the idda period before she becomes free to get married to another man. Okay. So after the divorce, there is a cooling period, Mm -hmm. which is called the idda period. And the idda period is, according to some scholars, is three cycles. According to some other scholars, is three uh, three purity periods. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So three periods, we say, generally speaking, if she is not pregnant... If she is pregnant, then her idda period ends when she gives birth. Okay, we'll talk about the idda after we take a break, inshallah. So viewers, stay tuned for more on the art of divorce. Don't forget paradise lies at the feet of your mother. trying to get together but all their efforts were in vain because of ignoring or turning away from this great foundation. We see many people coming to the way of truth, following the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but later on they get off track. What is the reason behind that? Unity is a result, it's not a cover-up. We have to be united from inside. And Allah made this clear in the Quran when He said, وَأَطِيعُ اللَّهَ وَأَطِيعُ الرَّسُولَ Don't forget paradise lies at the feet of your mother. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back. You're watching 
the art of divorce. And we're still talking to our guests from the United Kingdom, Sheikh Haytham Al-Haddad. Um, in the first segment, we mentioned that after the arbitration happens, the person, the, the husband mentions divorce only once, and then it goes into the period, the cooling period, we say the end of period. You, will, you give us the description that it's three periods, or for the woman who is pregnant until she delivers. Bismillah uh, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Now, the idda period uh, differs from one situation to another situation. Again, we are not discussing fiqh here, mm -hmm. but briefly, I'll explain it. Mm -hmm. they, the scholars, uh, they mention that there are different types of women with respect to the idda, according to what was mentioned in the Quran and the Sunnah. If, if a woman is not hamil, it means ha'il, they say in Arabic, mm -hmm. means she's not pregnant, yes. then she had one type, okay? Or the, she constitutes one type of women. Mm -hmm. Then the other type if is pregnant women. The third type is what women who either left their idda period, uh, left their menses, means ayisa, mm -hmm. okay? And now she doesn't see her idda, mm -hmm. and... Um, she's uh, very old uh, or something happened to her so she doesn't see uh, the, the period. period anymore mm -hmm. okay Ayisa called or the very young woman that have not seen any period mm -hmm. so now these are three types for pregnant women is very easy أَجَلُهُنَّ أَنْ يَضَعْنَ حَمْلَهُنْ as Allah Jalla wa Ala said in the Quran, and this is again the consensus of all the scholars. Ulat mm -hmm. al pregnant women, the idda comes to an end when they gives, when they give birth. Okay. Mm -hmm. The second type is women who see normal period, it, irrespective of the length between their periods. Yes. But they see regular period. Yeah. So the idda of those, Allah Jalla wa Ala mentioned, وَالْمُطَلَّقَاتُ يَتَرَبَّصْنَ بِأَنفُسِهِنَّ ثَلَاثَةَ قُرُوءُ This is in Surah An-Nisa, وَالْمُطَلَّقَات They wait mm -hmm. for ثَلَاثَةَ قُرُوءُ mm -hmm. قُرُوءُ here, the word قُرُوءُ is the plural of قُرْءُ mm -hmm. قُرْءُ, the scholars differ about it, whether it is the purity period or the cycle itself. Okay. Some scholars said the cycle some scholars said the purity period. Yeah. And that's why we say go to your local mufti and check his opinion about this. Yes. So this is the normal women. Mm -hmm. As Allah Jalla wa Ala said in the Quran. Then uh, those wallahi ya isna min al mahidi those who have not yani, uh, those who have not seen the period because they are young or those who became very old and the period uh, disappeared mm -hmm. so those فَعِدَّتُهُنَّ ثَلَاثَةُ أَشْهُرْ فَعِدَّتُهُنَّ ثَلَاثَةُ أَشْهُرْ Allah Jalla wa'ala says وَاللَّا إِيَئِسْنَ مِنَ الْمَحِيضِ مِنْ نِسَائِكُمْ إن ارتبتم فعدتهن ثلاثة أشهر ولا إلم يحضن and those who have not seen the period okay. so the idda for them is three months okay but you mean the person who doesn't see the period is is the woman who never have doesn't reach the age of of of, of having the period yeah yeah okay she's young and sometimes uh, there had uh, been cases of some sisters who've been maybe fifteen at the age of fifteen. And they got married and they haven't seen the uh, period or even younger than that. Yes, and okay. the old women after the age of 50 or around the age of 50, the, uh, they, the idda or the period mm -hmm. disappears. Okay. So this is the idda period. Okay. Now, this period, if a husband divorced his wife, then she has to witness the idda period. There are certain rules and regulations for the idda period. We will not go through them because they are quite long, mm -hmm. but we will go through one important point, which is mentioned in Surah At-Talaq, which is, لا تخرجوهن من بيوتهن. First of all, Allah Jalla wa Ala said to the 
Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that whenever you want to divorce women, divorce them just before their period, مستقبلاتن لعدتهن, just before their prescribed period. Ibn Abbas explained it, okay, as that the person should divorce her as we explained before, on a time where she is pure from her period and there had been no sexual relationship. Allah Jalla wa'ala says in the Quran in Surah Al-Talaq, Ya ayyuhal nabiyu, idha talaqtumun nisa fa talliquuhunna li'iddatihinna wa ahsul iddah. واتقوا الله ربكم لا تخرجوهن من بيوتهن ولا يخرجن إلا أن يأتين بفاحشة مبينة. Oh Prophet, if you divorce women, divorce them before their prescribed period. Before their prescribed period means in their purity. Okay, provided that there has been no sexual relationship. وأحصل عدة count the عدة. Then Allah Jalla wa ala said, لا تخرجوهن من بيوتهن Don't expel them, don't kick them out of their houses, matrimonial houses. And they should not go. ولا يخرجنا Themselves, they should not leave. And we will elaborate on this, inshallah, in the near future. So this is the second point. Is that once the husband divorced his wife, they should wait for the idda period. During the idda period, she should stay at her husband's uh, house. Yes. Now, during that period, she is a wife. Mm -hmm. What do we mean by this? Many people are unaware of this. I will not dwell into it because this is a fiqh discussion, but briefly, she is a wife means what? If the husband died, she inherits him. If she died, he inherits her. SubhanAllah. Okay? Wow. Mm -hmm. And that's why if she's not a wife, she's not allowed to stay at him, at his house, alone. And now even some scholars from the Salaf encouraged her to beautify herself, to try to talk to him, to try to reconcile. And that is the main wisdom behind the cooling period. It is, it, we will be surprised. I have uh, I've been astonished to read that even in, in Western perspective, of, from Western perspective, they uh, advise people to have this cooling period. SubhanAllah. Mm -hmm. And Islam mm -hmm. yeah, encouraged us to have this cooling period when? 1400 years ago. So they said in the cooling period, before we make the divorce, they call it ab uh, absolute divorce, means we bef before concluding divorce, mm -hmm. let us have this cooling period. This is almost the same or very similar. Now, once the husband divorced his wife, waited for the Idda period, they haven't decided to reconcile, they did not reconcile, the Idda came to an end, the wife now is free to get married to another man and also she is free to marry him again. Okay. But going back to him is not going back to him, but marrying him. Okay. So Within the Idda period, mm -hmm. he can take her back without even her consent. After the Idda period, he cannot take her back. And this is one of the things that we have explained in one of the previous episodes. Yes, yes. After the Idda period, he cannot take her back except with what? A new nikah, a new contract. And all the conditions of a contract, of a marriage contract, has to be or have to be fulfilled. The consent of the wali, mm -hmm. the witnesses, and the mahr. These are the main conditions. The witnesses, uh, sorry, the consent of the wali, the witnesses, and the mahar. Of course, provided that she accepts yes. that. Yes. So, means her consent. These are the conditions, the main conditions for a valid nikah. So, he has to do this. Here, Allah Jalla wa Ala says, mention this in Surah Al-Baqarah as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this, uh, the, uh, uh, Allah Jalla wa Ala mentioned in Surah Al-Baqarah something called Al-Adl. فَلَا تَعْضُلُوهُنَّ أَنْ يَنْكِحْنَ أَزْوَاجَهُنَّ إِذَا تَرَابَوْ بَيْنَهُمْ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ Al-Adl. What is Al-Adl? Mm -hmm. This 
surah, this verse was revealed because of the story of Ma'qil ibn Yasar. Ma'qil ibn Yasar, one of the Sahaba, his daughter got married, uh, sorry, his uh, sister got married to another man from the Sahaba. Yes. That man divorced her. Ma'qil ibn Yasar, the brother, became very angry. And he said to him, I gave you my sister on a good will. And then now you divorced her. After some time, when the Idda period came to an end, the husband wants to go back to his ex-wife. Yes. Wants to marry her. Now, because the conditions have to be fulfilled and the consent of the wali, who is Ma'qil ibn Yasar, has mm-hmm. to be there, Ma'qil ibn Yasar said, no, I mm-hmm. don't want. I gave her to you on a good will. Mm-hmm. Okay? And you slept with her and you just threw her like this. Wallahi la tarja'u ilayka abada. By mm-hmm. Allah, she will not go back to you. Mm-hmm. She wanted to go back to him. He wants to go back to her. Yes. So they went to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the ayah of the adil came down. فَلَا تَعْضُلُوهُنَّ أَنْ يَنْكِحْنَ أَزْوَاجَهُنَّ إِذَا تَرَاضُوا بَيْنَهُمْ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ Don't stop them. Don't prevent them from marrying their husbands if they think that they can live in a good well. So Ma'aqqal ibn Yasar, after that, he said, سَمِعْنَا وَعْطَعْنَا And he allowed... Her, uh, his sister to get married to her ex-husband. Mm-hmm. So this is the second or third point. Yes. Is that divorce, the idda period, if the idda period came to an end, you want to go back to your ex-wife, then you have to get married to her again. During the idda period, you can take her even without her consent, without the consent of her wali. Uh, uh, if you can just clarify for us, what are some of the ways that you can return your wife? Just by saying it? Okay. To return your wife, saying it to the wife, mm-hmm. or saying it to the wali of the wife, mm-hmm. or saying it to witnesses. Now here, we mentioned this maybe quickly in one of the previous episodes, but learning how to divorce is very important because brothers, 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 We had some cases in the Islamic Sharia Council where the husband said, I took my wife. And we asked the wife, did you know that he took you? She said, no, never. Mm. Sister, are you telling the truth? She said, wallahi, he never. Okay, this is al-yameen. We ask her to swear by God that she never knew that her husband mm. okay, took her back. al we ask him do you have any proof you did not tell her he could not prove it do you have witnesses he doesn't have witnesses have you told her father the wali no then the scholars say that even if he as a matter of fact he took her back but there is no proof there is no shuhud he did not tell her wali then she doesn't go back to him. SubhanAllah. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh Haitham. Every time we finish the episode, I am seeing that it's really the lack of, 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 of the wanting us, to, us wanting to know our religion more is really making us fall into sin ignorantly. Okay, Sheikh Haitham, Jazakallah khair for being with us on today's episode. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward and protect you. And to all the viewers, keep watching us on The Art of Divorce. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Woman's status in Islam We should never, never neglect They are favored and deserve their respect. They can pray at the mosque or even at home. They may marry or divorce, it's a choice of their own. A woman after marriage becomes a wife. For nine long months she carries a new life Islam legislates equality My sisters and brothers Don't forget paradise lies At the feet of your mother 
Righteous woman can lead a happily married life. The best men are those who are best to their wives.